Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex's Shook reaction plus a little bit of tea. Yes, we've got dinner and a movie today for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at Amberlynn's latest upload, which was actually called Losing Weight After a Breakup, weigh in 1027. So this video actually went up yesterday. And we're also going to talk about a community tab post from Life by Jen. I know that a lot of people are worried about Jen and what exactly is going on with her so we're gonna take a look at her new update today is going to be a lot of good news which is much different than the things that we have been covering lately so let's have a little fun on a little bit of a positivity episode of alex's shook let's just get right into it shall we did that make sense i hope that made sense anyways let's talk about jennifer gwen Anne and her latest community tab post it looks like some good news from jen which i'm so happy to see Hello from the world of physical therapy. Just wanted to send a pic along to show you all my progress. My weight loss is going very well. I was shocked to see how my face has shrunk and I am progressing very well with therapy. I get therapy three times a day, including strength training and walking practice. Emotionally therapy is going well too. I'm working on my ED and past trauma. Things are looking up. To be honest, this was the update that I think that I needed some positivity in this community for once. Things are looking up for Jen and I can't wait to see what she has in store for the future. All right, you guys, so we are here for the main event, and that is Amberlynn's latest vlog, Losing Weight After a Breakup. Yes, take a look at this like-to-dislike ratio, one that we don't usually see with Amberlynn. There's a lot of positivity surrounding her videos lately. I noticed that a lot of people are fed up with the live streams, but they seem to enjoy the videos from Amber. And I think I'm in that same boat where I'm really over those live streams from her, but that's okay if that's what she wants to do because she's also putting out vlogs as well so she can make both parties happy hey guys welcome to my wednesday we love to see it but if you want can we try again try again oh yeah okay so i decided to i'm make never gonna stop doing that okay these weigh-ins just a little bit more entertaining for you guys every single wednesday okay so you didn't think that they were entertaining enough before <laughs> If you guys remember in the previous weigh-in video, that was actually the video that she was crying before she got on camera to make it. I'm going to go on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my name is Rarity Cat, R-A-R-I-T-Y-C-A-T. And I'm going to ask I love you guys when she acts like we're brand new. You guys ask me weight loss, weight gain, weight journey type of questions because okay. I want to answer three questions per week. So she's going to be responding to some comments. We're having like a comment of the day situation. I know that has always caused her a little bit of trouble in the past, but she's struggling to fill these uh, videos up with content. So it would make sense that she would need to do like comment of the day or something. Weigh in. I just figured it would give me more topics to talk about because sometimes I'm sitting over here like, hmm, what do I say? So I guess after you film your life for six years, it does, or was it seven or eight? I'm not sure. Whatever. For that length of time, you can struggle on things to talk about, especially if there's not that much going on in your life. But the truth of the matter is Amberlynn was getting the most views and the most attention when she practically couldn't even leave the bed. So it takes some sort of genius mastermind to create such a whirlwind from just a laptop, right? <laughs> or phone. I'm gonna start off every single way in with those three questions. The first one is, are you still planning on getting weight loss surgery? The answer is pretty simple. Why would I need weight loss surgery if I'm doing it on my own right now? Some people think I'm not losing weight as fast as I should, which I totally understand, but sometimes- I feel like weight loss surgery could be such a good tool for her if she took it seriously. Um, she's already doing well losing weight on her own. Um, that's usually a prerequisite before they will do the surgery for you. Just thoughts. It's up to her. Sometimes it's like slow and steady wins the race. If I can lose weight without surgery, then that's what I'm going to do. So currently in this moment, yeah. no, I am not interested in weight loss surgery. Next question is what are some really low calorie snacks? When you I don't know. I just feel like it would be so good for her. You know, I mean, she could lose a couple hundred uh, first. Binging. I have been... My heater just turned on. Sorry if that's going to annoy you guys. I have been eating a lot of watermelon. If I feel a binge or like if i feel just like head hunger okay. or boredom hunger i allow myself to eat but 
I only allow myself to eat watermelon. Watermelon is super healthy for you. It's a lot of water in that watermelon, hence water. Yeah, there is a lot of water in there. Not many calories either. I love fruit as well. Um, I've just been really into sugar lately. It's not good. Not good. Melon. It's a melon full of water. What can I say? And it really satisfies me. I love the crunch. I love the sweetness. I love the waterness. What is with me and water today? I, I don't know. And then if I'm really like, okay, I want a sweet moment. It's a melon with water. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and I don't want to deprive myself from that. This is what I have. Yasso, you're upside coffee down. Yasso coffee poppables. I'm going to have to get me some of those. They look good. I enjoy the Yasso. It's pretty good. Um, it's not ice cream, though. You know, I realize that it's not supposed to be, but it's just not. Only 60 calories per one. I have one. And it honestly satisfies my craving. So thank you for these. Thank you, universe, for making these. I appreciate okay. it. Okay, I feel like that's a good idea. I mean, only 60 calories, and then you can um, satisfy that craving, and it doesn't lead to binging. So the third question for this video is, how much weight have you lost since the breakup? So as you guys know, I daily journal every single day, and whenever I weigh myself, I always put my weight in my journal so I can remember. I actually went back to the day after Becky broke up with me, and since then, I have lost 51 pounds. 50 wow. I mean, sometimes breakups can be good for people. I believe that Trisha Paytas actually had a little weight loss after she broke up with Jason Nash. I think that was something that she had talked about on her channel. I like how Amberlynn's uh, recent vlogs are a lot about showing us that okay. she, you, you know, actually does moment? things. Like the whole beginning of this video, um, her previous weekly vlog was her just kind of doing cleaning, you know, the everyday chores that most of us do, which it was nice to see. I mean, she wants to show us that she is capable of taking care of herself on her own. I think that that's what this is, but um, it's positive to see, right? I mean, she's taking a little bit more steps in adding things to her content, um, like the cleaning with the music in the background. I think it's pleasant. 51 y'all i i'm clearly speechless if it wasn't for this question and someone asking that i would have never known that the breakup actually was a really good thing for my weight loss i know there are people out there who are like i think at the end of the day it's going to be a good thing for both of them it might be hard they might be struggling right now but i think most people agree with that sentiment that they were kind of toxic together in the way that they relied on each other the reason why Amberlynn's losing weight is because Becky's not there to get her junk food. Duh. For the last year, Becky hasn't been getting me junk food. It's been myself. Instacart, I can literally yeah. Instacart some hot Cheetos. Exactly. She lives in Lexington, guys. It's not like where she used to live, where you couldn't really get any food. I know that there was like one pizza place or something like that. You guys get it. But now she has Uber Eats, DoorDash, Instacart, all of that kind of stuff that some of us take for granted. Because right now, if I wanted to, Uber Eats runs... 24 7 so if i want a 20 piece nugget and a mcflurry from mcdonald's i can totes get that at 3 a.m but i choose not. <laughs> i can totes get that at 3 a.m i'm just in a Love happier that. place for a million different reasons and it's healthy. they won't even deliver to me like that late at night anymore like one time i it was like 3 a.m this is not my proudest moment okay it was like 3 a.m i wanted mcdonald's there is a 24 hour mcdonald's but it's like three miles or so from here and nobody picked up my order so they just canceled it yeah that that's a sad sad story okay me strive more for myself i feel super empowered to finally be the person that i've been waiting to be it's like i'm tired of sitting around waiting around to be someone that i know i am on the inside so it's time to do it now what was All it right. amber i mean what exactly is getting her into gear this time is it because she is you know, she wants a new partner and she wants to work on herself so that she is good for that new partner. Is it because she already has a new partner and they're telling her what to do? I'm rambling too much. Let's get to my weigh-in. So last Wednesday on October 20th, I weighed 509.6. That night I ended up having cheesy bread. Oops. Cheesy bread for me is a cheesy little bit bread. of an over eight moment. It's not really quite a binge, but it's, it's- That sounds good. I mean, what cheesy bread are we talking about from your fridge? Put a little cheese on it and in the toaster oven or like little caesar's cheesy bread 
big uh calorie difference there definitely a moment where i'm like shit i am overeating texas toast that choice but i still do it anyway the next day october 21st i weighed in at 508.8 which was a 0.8 weight loss october 22nd was a 509.2 which i gained 0.4 which kind of <gasps> shocked me but i accepted it october 23rd was a 508.4 which was down another 0.8 october 24th was a 507.0 so i was down 1.4 and unfortunately that day I overate again. I ended up having cold stone as a dessert instead Ooh. of reaching for my poppables and watermelons. Chop, chop, fold, fold. If you know, you know. I'm not perfect. <laughs> and then later that night, I had cheesy bread again. So I knew I was going to step on the scale the next day and not be happy. And I was right. On October 25th, I weighed in at 508.4, which was a 1.4 gain. And this was the day where I was like... Does Amber like Trader Joe's? I feel like she would like Trader Joe's. Bread enough messing around we have goals to reach ma'am and my goals reaching those are going to taste so much better than any cheesy bread ever could so october 26th i weighed exactly. in at 507.0 which was a 1.4 weight loss and then october 27th i weighed in which was today at 506.2 which was a point okay weight loss. so, this so she's week, getting closer and closer to the 400s i have lost 3.4 pounds could be better but i'm still happy with it I so know that she was down she was down to like 400 something about a year ago and then 2021 was a little bit of a backslide. And if you do take a look at her breakup video with Becky, I personally believe that you can tell, like, you can tell the difference. So here is her with Becky um, in June. This is announcing their breakup. And here she is 50 pounds down in our recent video. In total, I have lost 66.2 pounds. That means I am 3.8 oh, wow. away from losing 70 even Rarity's happy about that. 70 pounds for me is such like a pivotal moment. And I'm so is she putting her starting weight at 572 again? Or was she back up to 570? I'm more excited for 75 because that's three fourths of 100 pounds. So as you guys know, I do have a weight loss goal of 499.8 by November 1st. <laughs> I have five weigh-ins because I weigh in daily to lose six points. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the goal? 499.8 by November 1st. 499.8. Because I weigh in daily to lose 6.4 pounds to reach that goal you guys will find out if i reach that goal okay so she's setting like some little goals her first goal is to be in the 400s i like that on my next wednesday weigh-in i am going to try every single day i will not have cheesy bread i will not have cold stone i just really want to be in the 400s and it's coming up it is coming soon and i'm so excited it's like i really hope it that is. next weigh-in i could be like i'm down over 70 pounds and i reach my goal i don't want to first is coming up though guys that's what four days away we got a uh, 29th, 30th, 31. If anyone up because I could How? fail. 6.4 pounds in five weigh-ins. Come on. Don't let that Halloween candy get you, girl. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this weigh-in and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from yesterday's video, which was called Becky's Discord Drama, as well as Foodie is Getting Lawyers Involved. And I just wanted to thank you guys for the support on this video. We knocked it out of the park, I do have to say. So today's comment of the day comes from Cherry Nicole who says Chantal's attorney is contacting May's attorney for what? Isn't this between Natter and May? I'm not educated when it comes to lawyer stuff, but it just seems odd to me. So I've got quite a few comments talking about this uh, specific fact. Why is Chantal the one getting the attorney? It's because Chantal is the one with money. Let's be real here. That's why she's the one with the attorney. But to be honest, I don't even know if she really has an attorney or not. She could just be talking those big girl words. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Life by Jen? Yes, it's nice to see her back with an update, as well as Amber Lynn, who is completely turning things around. Is this finally Amber Lynn's time? She seems to think it might be. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.